Hey, welcome. You've made it. This is the second episode of the three-part series on the Honda Africa Twin engine guard and upper crash bar installations. If you're following along at home, you have the skid and exhaust plates off, the exhaust dropped and balanced on your friend's arms, or better yet, balanced on a few jacks, and the mounts installed. If your bike is still intact, or if you are new to this series and you want to do this installation, head over to episode one. I have a link above and a link in the description. If you're at the stage now to install the engine guard, let's move forward. As I mentioned in the first episode of the series, I'm going to drop this bike. A lot. So this install is necessary. I'm pretty excited to share all my adventures with you, including every time I drop this AT. If you want to see that, hit the subscribe button. If by the end of this video you found it helpful, hit that like button. It's super helpful for this channel. All right, let's get started. I'll go through the tools you'll need for this install in a moment, but I'll start by saying that the installation instructions are the most valuable tool you'll use. If your dealership didn't provide them to you, there should be a QR code in each box that will provide a PDF of the installation instructions. Here are the tools you'll need. If you don't have all of them, check the description. I have links to many of these tools. A screwdriver. A Phillips head will work for this job, but if you plan on doing extensive work on Honda bikes, a JIS head, like the Vessel one I'm using, will be invaluable. 10 and 12 millimeter sockets. 5 and 6 millimeter hex sockets. Though you'll see that a hex key might work better in some steps. A ratchet wrench. Socket extensions. I used a 6 inch and a 3 inch extension in this installation. 10 and 12 millimeter box end wrenches. Though if you have ratcheting wrenches, the job will be easier. A torque wrench. The installation instructions have a handy torque chart, but if for some strange reason you don't have the instructions, I have the torque values in the description. Let's start by laying out the engine guard as it will be installed on the bike. Note that the right side has the large attachment that will be bolted to the frame between the foot peg and the brake pedal. The left side is the smaller of the two. There are many fasteners needed to install the engine guard. For the front, each side has two 8mm bolts, two cap nuts, and a hard as hell to install 6mm bolt. For the left rear, you use an 8mm bolt, and on the right rear, you use an extra long 8mm bolt. All this will make sense as we go through the process. Let's head over to the left side of the bike and begin installing the left engine guard. Begin by positioning the left guard on the mount and inserting an 8mm bolt in the middle and lower bolt holes. If you plan on installing the upper crash bar, leave the middle bolt out. Here is where you will attach the upper crash bars. Next, attach the cap nuts on the other side of the mount. Just loosely hand tighten these here. You need to bolt the rear of the guard on, and you need some movement to do that. Next, work your fingers between the exhaust and the mount with a 6mm bolt, and insert into the bolt hole in the mount, and thread it into the other side of the engine guard. Just like with the 8mm bolts, don't go too tight on this one yet. Now let's head over to the rear of the left engine guard, and with a 10mm ratchet wrench, remove the bolt attached to the frame. With the 8mm bolt and spacer included with the engine guard, begin threading it into the engine guard and the frame. If you have trouble manipulating the engine guard in place, loosen the bolts on the front a bit. Once you have everything in place, tighten all your bolts and nuts. In the front, hold the 8mm bolts with a 10mm wrench on the engine guard side and tighten up the cap nuts on the mount side with a 12mm ratchet wrench. Here's where I'm supposed to tell you that you should torque these bolts to 16 foot-pounds. But realistically, you aren't going to be able to get a torque wrench in there. You could use a crow's foot to torque it. I just torque these to the BMW Adventure Bike specs. Good and tight. Now let's head over to the right side of the bike and insert the 8mm bolts into the middle and lower bolt holes. Again, if you plan on installing the upper crash bars, leave the middle bolt out. Here is where you will attach the upper crash bars. Next, just like you did on the left side, attach the cap nuts on the other side of the mount. Loosely install the 6mm bolt. This one attaches a bit differently to the engine guard than the left one. It threads directly into the rear where the bar meets rather than the bolt hole. Here's where you'll really need to fit your fingers in a tight spot. If you have someone with tiny fingers, like this 8-year-old or this 10-year-old, bribe them with ice cream to put the 6mm bolt in. Instead of bribery, I threaded the bolt in until it bit, and then I tightened it up with a 10mm ratchet wrench. I kept all bolts loose until after the next step. Let's head to the rear of the right engine guard, and with the long 8mm bolt included with the engine guard, insert it into the bolt hole and the engine guard from the inside of the bike. You may need to adjust your jacks to get the holes to line up. You also may have some dirt on your bike like I do from the last time you were riding. Just ignore it, it's supposed to be there. It's character. Once you get the bolt through the hole, attach a cap nut and thread it onto the bolt. Hold the bolt on the inside with a 12mm wrench and tighten the cap nut to 20 foot pounds with a 12mm socket. Now let's tighten the bolts in the front. 
The six millimeter bolt should be torqued to nine foot pounds. You can torque it with a 10 millimeter crow's foot or wait until someone invents the world's smallest torque wrench. I use the BMW Gutentight spec here again. Just like on the left side, tighten up the eight millimeter bolts with a 10 millimeter ratchet wrench on the outside and a 12 millimeter on the inside. Okay, we got the engine guard installed. In the next video, we'll install the upper crash bars. Thanks for watching, ride safe, seek adventure, and keep your wheels rolling in the right direction. I'll see you in the next video.